staying across from the Tesla factory. So I'm just heading out to a restaurant just up the street to meet some uh, fellow Model 3 enthusiasts and some followers for a little chit chat and evening of Model 3 talk and all things Tesla. We're just gonna go up the hill here, check this out. I'm doing another video segment. Um, <laughs> I'm here in Fremont, uh, down here for a couple of days for the uh, VIP tour of the of the uh, of the factory. I got a lot of stuff going on right now because everybody's trying to tweet each other and try to figure out how to meet up and stuff. Because there's a lot of people down here, including some YouTubers, some old friends. Anyhow, I had a good meet up with uh, Caleb Elston there from the Tesla show. We had a really good conversation. It was about eight of us around, just talking about Tesla in general and different things. I have to go right now. Uh, the uh, the factory tours is shortly, so I'm going to leave the hotel room. Hanging out with James. Hey, everybody. Hello. What did you think of the Model 3? I think the Model 3 looks amazing. Doesn't it? Yeah. The pictures don't do it justice. No, but then I think that about a lot of the sort of the front fascia cars actually, is they need they need to be seen in person to really appreciate the looks of them. Yeah, I was very surprised. I was actually very, very happy to see that the size of the car wasn't smaller than I imagined it. No, yeah. I mean, it needs to be necessarily smaller than a Model S, but I mean, the last thing you want is to have a car that's more like the size of a Mazda 3 or something that's just too small. Yeah, I don't, so. I don't, I, yeah, I totally agree. Mazda 3, far too small. Yeah. I wouldn't personally go for a Model 3 over a Model S because I like space. And I've got, it's like, it's like goldfish and goldfish bowls. You know, they grow to the size of the aquarium you stick them in. Mm -hmm. And I've had a Model S now for three years. I'm so used to going, oh, we're going somewhere. I'll put the suitcases in the front, the folding electric bike in the back, the my in the folding back. electric skateboard here, this I'll tuck there. Jasper needs his scooter and helmet, you know. <laughs> so maybe you need the Model X afterwards, James. <laughs> we did see little bits of the Model 3 production line kind of blocked off. It's huge, so. Yeah, I totally missed the Model 3 bits. Uh, I don't know how I managed yeah. to miss no, that. No, I, I didn't, I was looking for that. I didn't miss that. So anyway, so, but we can't talk about that specifically, but. Uh, no. So it's my last day before I have to fly back this afternoon, but um, I got an interesting text last night and uh, meeting up with somebody that you might recognize, maybe by voice more than anything. Oh, exposure. Well, that's horrible. Sorry about that. 
And uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the test track and see if we can do some Model 3 watching. Uh, there were a lot of reports yesterday of the cars running around the track doing some testing, so we're gonna go and poke our heads over and see if we can catch any video footage for us, so wish us luck. Two Model 3s, <laughs> two Model 3s. So, thanks. Awesome, guys. Have a good day. Don't tweet the position. <laughs> uh, could you please turn around, state your name for the record? <laughs> ah, this is nothing. I have no visual. I will tell you. You would okay. see me. All right, folks. Look, we spotted a Model Three yeah, underneath over there. Over there. a black scrim. Huh? 